Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, November 24, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. If you want, are interested in our, in our signal service, you're welcome to join us over Patreon. You'll get full access to our technical analysis and you also can join our live trade so the link is down below so we'll start by looking at the s p 500 and as you can see we are still at the same area which we have been now for several several days and at this point we are in a very short range here uh, between 3551 and then 3580 you probably can put it up here so that is the very highs but at this point nothing's really happening it has been very, very tricky to trade the, the stock market, also the indices um, last week and also uh, on today. And mainly due to the noise that the vaccine news has created. So it has been, the market has been all over the place. It has not been predictable whatsoever. Um, and this is something that's going to continue for some time because we have the vaccine in use now, but then we'll have, for example, the approval of the vaccine, and that will cause uh, additional noise and so on. And then you will have the distribution of the vaccine. So it, it will be, uh, well, I can say it's similar to Brexit, that you will have major news constantly going out that will uh, make the market fairly volatile uh, all of a sudden and... Um, Yes, and that is not very good for our trading, uh, our our um, strategies because because um, usually it goes against those uh, strategies. But we'll look at the S and P five hundred, and um, at this point we are overbought. So if you look at these technical indicators, this looks like that we are going to turn around question just is how far we will go i don't expect this market to break completely down all the way down to 3200 that is not what i expect i do expect the market to go down here towards the 50 moving average or around 3400 there or 3500 not further than that so down to this area here and then we'll continue significantly higher I just don't see this market bouncing from here, uh, main, mainly due to these indicators being very, very negative. Both the MACD, the RSI, CCI, Stochastic, uh, probably not the Bollinger Band, but, but these indicators are showing signs of weakness in the S&P 500, and a pullback towards 3,400 would make sense, and that would make, um, that will get attention from a lot of uh, buyers to basically come in here and push this market higher. So if you look at the Dow Jones, here, we can see that we are trading above uh, 29,000. And also this market, I expect to break down towards the 50 moving average. So around 28,000 is where I expect the Dow Jones to go. Um, we are significantly overbought at this point. Um, technical indicators were showing signs of, uh, of, of a bearishness. They have turned around a little bit, but I think that is just due to the, um, uh, due to the news that we have another vaccine, and it's just every single day now. At some point, there is going to be... Um, that news is going to be priced in and won't have as much effect because... When you get like a hundred vaccines, that number hundred will be basically, well, will have no uh, no effect whatsoever. But at this point, we can just see how much choppiness there has been the last uh, last seven days. So, um, a break uh, towards the fifty moving average that is basically what I'm waiting for in order to buy this market higher. So, if you look at the Nasdaq. Nasdaq uh, broke uh, towards the, 50, uh, the 20 exponential moving average at 11,800, and that proved to be significant uh, support. So at this point, 
it is um we could basically break the 20 and the 40 and go towards the 50 but i don't believe that will go further than the 50. so 11,572 is probably the as low as this market would go at this point before we'll start targeted in these very highs Technical indicators for the NASDAQ are not looking as dire as they are for the S&P 500. It is not significantly overbought, so, so there is room to the upside. I think that we're just going to stay in the same range, probably break towards the 50 at some point before going significantly higher. Um, we could also go higher from here, but that would mean that we'll get overbought fairly quickly, and then we'll basically head toward to the downside again before breaking these highs so at this point break towards the 50 that is um, a buying opportunity for the old time highs so if we look at nasdaq no netflix not nasdaq we broke down quite significantly in the in the in netflix um this is uh, looking quite promising now because you can see every single time we have these major pullbacks in netflix stocks it rallies again so one of the main reasons is also the vaccine uh, people have buying uh, have bought subscription for netflix because they have been staying at home but now that there is light at the end of the tunnel and people are not going to stay home anymore um, netflix basically expects a fewer subscriptions so it basically breaks down but it found uh, quite uh, well a little bit of uh, of uh, support here at the 150 moving average uh, but it probably won't go further than 466 uh, that is probably as far as this market will go before it turns around it is not over oversold yet um, so we could see this market go a little bit lower before we go higher so if you look at microsoft microsoft also fell uh, rallied a little bit we have a uh, resistant here at the 212 and we found support here at 208. This is a market that most likely will go all the way down to the 150 moving average at 203. There will be a lot of buying uh, into the stock in order to, to target the 225. At the moment, technical indicators are fairly mixed. Uh, they seem like they're going to turn it on but there's a lot of room to the downside so we'll probably see a little bit of choppiness all the way down towards the 150 before it turns around so apple fell nearly three percent today it has reached nearly the 100 moving average and as you can see in the past the 100 moving average has been significant uh, support for apple stock so this is something i will uh, be, be be looking for because this is Apple, this is a stock that is going to um, continue growing into the future. And every time you can basically buy it cheap, that is a, that's a good deal. Uh, Technical years for Apple stock are looking fairly dreadful at this point. So we'll probably have one or two more days uh, where we'll just stick around at the 20, 100 moving average before we basically rally to the upside. So if you look at Amazon, Amazon also fell, well, not very much 0.03 we have resistant here at the 20 exponential moving average that is around 3140 and uh, we'll we found support here at 3073 well technical indicators for this are fairly bearish um, i don't expect a major rally in amazon stock at any point uh, we need to break these moving averages in order to go higher a break down here towards 150 there will be a lot of buying coming in and pushing this up so at this point we are basically in no man's land and there's no reason to enter the stock whatsoever so we have tesla and yet again tesla rose 6.5 percent today yeah what are you gonna say um i thought that tesla was basically going to turn around it gave indication on friday of major weakness here with this red candlestick here and uh, well, I was completely wrong because Tesla basically rallied and we were up now around around 6.5%. So at this point, Tesla is significantly overbought, but it has been overbought most of this period, both here and here, and all of this period here has been overbought. 
So this is a stock that is very popular and people buy it even though it is still expensive. So uh, pull back towards the 50, that is probably the best idea here. To short this is just, um, it's just mental. It, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But a, rally, uh, a pullback towards the 50 moving average, that's around 16%. That is the, probably the best trade that you can get, get from this stock when if it pulls back at some point. So we have Facebook. We pull back towards the 100 moving average and then pull back again. So this was, this is support at 264. Uh, whether or not we turn around here or have another go at the 100 moving average, that is to be seen. But this has proven to be significant support. So there is a possibility for this stock to rally to the upside uh, like we did here. For example, we tested the 100 moving average uh, back in this like a month ago. And uh, it rallied all the way up towards uh, 200 and, uh, 294, 98, sorry. So this is a rally of nearly 13.5%, uh, so within four days. So it can rally significantly. But technical indicators here are not showing signs of this major rally because they are all very bearish at this point. So looking at Google, we have started to break down. We are trading underneath this, line, this previous support line. We can just get rid of this now. And we found support here at the 20 exponential moving average. And that is around 17,000, 17, 1,716. So that is now uh, support and we can put a line right here. If that breaks, we'll look at the 40 exponential, that's 1,658. And if that breaks, we'll go towards the 50 at the 1,597. And that is probably as far as this will fall. Uh, we are not uh, overbought at this point. Technical indicators are turning around. So uh, best guess is 40 exponential before we head to the upside. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. Good luck and thank you very much.